use this place. Let's save our progress as uh, third I. Third eye, Terrell Palm's fortunes. We deduce, they deduce that this must be some sort of psychic shock. The window display contains several mystical objects like crystal balls, Ouija boards, and the like. The blazing orange neon sign, neon eye, keeps watch over the activities in this isolated London street. A tall blonde man is leaning against the entrance to the shop. It's hard to tell from the dis this distance, but he looks very familiar. Oh, all blonde man. Let's talk to him. Otto Schneider, is that you? Schneider. Hi, yes, Herr Jordan. Hi. Yes. How nice to see you again. What are you doing nice here? To see you. Yeah. I have moved here to London and entered into a partnership with Madame Rosenquist. Yes. You mean she's still alive? Wow. Uh, I mean, how's she doing? Quite well. This is her shop Quite you see well. before you. Yes. No kidding. Not at all. Uh, you should go upstairs. I'm sure she would love to see you again. Okay. So, how are you liking London? It's a much larger city than I am used to. Yeah. Still, it's pleasant enough. Anything else to talk about? Have you got some time to talk? Of course, Herr Jordan. Herr Jordan. What may I help you with? Tell me about yourself. You sure seem a lot happier than the last time I saw you. Yeah. Yes, I am. Very much so. Perhaps it is a change of scenery, Strangled or my by relationship with Madame Rosenquist, but I am much happier these days. Relationship? Relationship. You mean your business relationship? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, business, uh, and a bit more. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh. That's great. Wow. I'm very happy for you. Thank you. And what of you, Herr Jordan? Is all well with you? If you excuse my boldness, you seem significantly less happy than the last time we met. Yeah, well, yeah, you could see things that. are kind of bad. Simon is dead, Alice is missing, and I'm not sure what to do next. Ah, I see. My condolences. If I can assist you in any way, please let me know. Madam Tilly. So you said this is Madam Tilly's shop? Indeed. Does she get much business? She does, yeah. There are an astounding number of people who desire psychic guidance. Ah, you sound yes. surprised by that. Yeah, I suppose I am, in a way. Does it maybe have to do with the fact that Madame Rosenquist is... How do I put this? Less than reliable? I was going to use the F word, but sure. I would not consider her a fraud. While I don't believe her predictions are 100% accurate, I do think she has a moment of clarity. Our time at number 50 Berkeley Square proved that. See you later, Otto. Okay. Goodbye, Herr Jordan. Save our progress is third eye. Talk to her. Yeah, nice, nice. You, place. I remember you. Rosen ben Christ. Jordan, was it? That's right. We worked together a few months ago. Yes, yes, of course. How could yes. I forget? Vanilla, you probably have something to do with it. Eh? What was that? Oh, nothing. Please have a seat over on that chair. So, what brings you to my humble parlor? Okay, um... Vulnerable response, sarcastic response, honest response. Let's be honest. Someone at a pub mentioned this place and I thought I'd check it out. I'm kind of running out of options, so I figured, why not? Running out of options? Whatever do you mean? You're the psychic, why don't you tell me? <laughs> ah, yes. I sense you are feeling a great loss. Hmm. Oh my. Hmm. Oh my. Yes. I see your situation is quite grim. Hmm. Please, tell me more so that I may do my best to assist you. I don't really have time to get into details. But basically, Simon is dead and Alice is missing. I need to find and stop this insane cardinal from the Vatican and I don't have much time to do it. Is there anything you can do to help? Yes, I believe there is. Gaze into the crystal ball, Mr. Jordan. All right, let's gaze I will the commune ball. with the spirit world and deliver their messages to you via the Ooh. orb of truth. Seriously? Extremely. Now look into the ball. I call upon those who have passed. Oh spirits, come forth from the light and give us guidance. Is something supposed to be happening? Shh. 
Yes, yes. Upon you now I call. Rise from your eternal rest. Simon Booth, come forth from what? death. Give us guidance. Wait, what? Booth. Simon, your friend is calling you for help. Come forth and show us the way. Okay, this has gone far <laughs> enough. I beg your pardon? I really don't know what I expected coming here, but I know it wasn't to have some crazy old woman play Dial a Spirit. Simon was my friend. I won't sit here and have you make fun of him like this. You misunderstand, Mr. Jordan. The last thing I would ever do is... Oh, I understand all right. I'll see you around, Madam Rosenquist. Wow. Thanks for your time. What the hell? It's Simon. Simon? Is that you? I would say, in the flesh, but I don't seem to talk too much about life now, do I? It, Whoa. It's good to see you again. I'm not sure if I can say the same about Look, I'm sorry about what happened. I didn't know. Sorry? Sorry is going to make me alive again, is it? But this is no time for venting frustrations. As soon as you disturb my sweet hereafter to ask me some questions. So go ahead. Ah. Tell me, what's death like? So, what's it like? Being dead, I mean. There's a lot more paperwork involved than what we expect. Really? No, of course not. So tell me what it's really like then. Well, it's quite all the mystery. We're going to find out eventually. Why ruin it now? Uh, tell me about Alice. Do you have any idea where Alice is? Are you saying that I should know? Well, I always thought people acquired omniscient knowledge after they died. I thought we would be a lot more enthusiastic about dying, don't you think? I never thought of it that way. Anyway, no, I don't know where she is. I really hope she's okay. Uh, tell me about Cardinal Genovese. Do you know where Cardinal Genovese is? As a matter of fact, I do. Okay, good. I think I do at any rate. Really? You think? Great. Where? Shortly after the incident, I was lying down on the floor. Before I shuffled off the mortal coil, I heard Genevieve talking. He said that since you so thoughtlessly destroyed the exorcism of my life, he was now required to go in search of the final relic, which according to him, was located in Paris. Paris, huh? Hmm. Did he say where specifically? Uh, afraid not, mate. That's about the time I snuck it. At least I know where to start looking now. I don't have any more questions. Listen, Dan, I'm sorry I was a bit rude earlier. You have to understand my point of view and all this. Yeah. Being killed just makes up me one jump of joy. Yeah, I understand. This hasn't been easy for any of us. But mark my words, I'm going to make sure Genevieve gets what he deserves. He's not okay. I have absolute confidence in you doing exactly that. So, I guess this is goodbye then. Well, it's that way. I'm really sorry things turned out the way they did. It comes with the territory, mate. I wouldn't trade the adventures we have for anything. Me either. Okay, it's time for me to go. Now, don't expect some sentimental nonsense about how I'll always be with you or anything like that. Just because I'm dead doesn't mean there's any reason to get all emotional. But I will say this. Good luck. Thanks. I'm gonna need it. So long, Ben. Bye, Simon. You were a great friend. I don't know, but don't worry, we'll see each other again soon. Or will we? Ha 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 ha! Good one. humor even the afterlife. I'm gonna miss that. That was beautiful. It's always so tragic to see young lovers separated by death. Young, young lovers? What? There's no shame in it, Mr. Jordan. I may be old, but I'm not close-minded. Right. Goodbye, Madam Rosenquist. Goodbye. So, how did it go? Better than I had hoped. I'm off to Paris. Wow. I think not, Jordan. Uh -oh. Your travels end here. Ugh, not another not one of you guys. Do you know this man? He's a member of the Knights of St. Anthony. Oh, They're a bunch of whack jobs are trying to kill me. Now, now, there's no need for name calling. Look, I already know the drill. I'm not coming along with you no matter how much you threaten me. Not to worry, I won't waste your time. I've been sent to kill you, Jordan, uh -oh. not capture you. I'm afraid I cannot allow that. No. Ooh, take Ooh. that, asshole. Whoa. Pretty Boo. impressive move, hey there, The compliment is appreciated, yeah. Jordan, but we don't have much time. Go around the corner of this building. 
I have a car parked there. I can take you where you need to go. Okay. But we must move quickly. Let's do it. I will meet you in a few minutes. Okay, okay. I'm going. Alright. Let's head on to our destination, Perry! <laughs> Skip this joint. Oh, car chase. 